Hey YouTube, welcome back to You Get What You Pay For with Robert Brown. This is a normal house with normal noises and you're going to hear footsteps and dogs and stuff like that, so bear with me. Um, sometimes, and most of the time, I shoot all my videos at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning when everybody's asleep. So, whatever, going to have some background noise. Here we go. So, you're looking at my choices for three different levels of price points of knives with their matching three different levels price points of fidget toys now fidget toys uh, kind of got me healthy again that's going to be the long story short and pulled me out of some depression that being said I spent some money on researching and developing my own ideas on fidget toys and what they do and what they do for me so that being said I did spend some money I spent a little money on some fidget toys like virtually I don't know I think this was twelve dollars all the way up to this is my most expensive one which is a use Magnus and this is titanium with zirconium plates kind of my grail because I don't think I'm going to spend more than $200 on a fidget toy so let's go back to the beginning over here the start this fidget toy is a Bruce Charles and it is aluminum top permanently fixed by precision fit to brass plates with I believe six mag magnets per side it's really really nice they're unavailable right now I think the poor guy is working by himself and he's working really really hard go Bill go this its counterpart knife at the same price point $59.99 this is the Migaron Moyaro I said it right this thing is really really cool for the price it's very fidgety it hits the fidgety mark with the multiple ways of opening it the three ways the thumb way the reverse flick with the middle finger and just the axis bar lock opening so cool right and let's move on to the next one this is currently you see my other videos if not this is currently my EDC of choice this is the Kaiser Towser Mini K the clip is pretty much a big seller for me because it's very flexible and it goes on many many different pairs of pants this goes on nothing pretty much and this one all the way down here the expensive one pretty much goes on nothing and so it's very hard to put that on in, on your pocket it's really doesn't work that well EDC of choice there you go this is my new acquisition which I'm EDCing right now this is the Lauti milk cap coin haptic fidget toy I like this a lot because I'm calling it my blind fidget toy where it does not come apart into two pieces very easily and you can fidget away concealed it could be in your pocket it could be in your left hand you could be driving so really easy to do and relieves stress when you cannot fidget with your knife you can fidget with that thing all day long a little more difficult with this one because it's two pieces and it could separate and it falls in the car and it's lost for a while <laughs> and then let's go down to the final one down here make this video fast this is the Migaron AM8 Kermu Kermu uh, I've I love this knife I am going to be selling some Migaron knives I love them so much uh, so I bought a bunch and I'm going to uh, support the company 
anyway this one right here is it's not the fidgetiest knife in the world because it only has the thumb the thumb flipper but god it's so buttery smooth and you can open it so you can open it light switch way so i'll do that for you light switch and it just fires out because of the weight of the blade or you can go like over the top it just fires out so nicely and i think it's mostly due to the weight at the end of the tip the spear point and other fidgety qualities about it are the way it feels it just feels good just won't hold it that's why i like it pair it up with the magnus which is a two click popper if you want to pop it or you can just kind of just make haptic slides with it so the magnets on this are really really strong but you can still push it apart and drop it and so it is not my EDC right now it used to be until and this was my EDC for a couple of weeks love it it's really smooth I did a short of it the action got some views on it this one right here is my favorite it's an awesome price point the $100 magic price point so we'll say it's $110 so in conclusion the magical $100 price point $110 to be precise is where I like to be and you get a lot for your money you get what you pay for when you go get the real product spend the money don't get a fake like that one get the real thing get yourself a nice EDC knife with a good blade and some fidgety factors and if you're a fidgety guy like me I think you'll be happy all right guys like and subscribe good night take care peace